Hi guys, welcome to CDC Mentors and today I'm going to discuss something really important which is how you should be studying for quants as far as CAT and other exams are concerned. So I get this question a lot of time you know, from students that what should be the strategy and all that. So in today's video I'm going to discuss uh, what should be your approach for quants, uh, which are the important topics, uh, how you should be studying in a day, what should be your daily schedule and which are the areas that you should not be really focusing on. So to begin with, first advice whenever you start with quant if you're a beginner or if you're again repeating or whatsoever, my humble advice, I mean, I'm telling you the same thing that I, I, I tried for myself and the toppers of mine who tried for themselves. Now, the first thing, which is the most important thing is do not try to put your hands into the big chapters, which is number system, algebra, um, let's say, you know, modern maths and geometry and all that. Don't do that. A lot of classes, not a big brands in India, they will begin their uh, actually portion or they will begin their cat lectures with all these topics. Trust me, it doesn't work like that. I mean, there is no need to kind of take these topics first. Now, the moment you start with your preparation for anything in your life, right? You should go step by step. What happens, what people do is that they feel that, you know, we are going for CAT and it's a big exam, tough exam. So they tend to get a lot of high levels. So like you number system, they'll do the algebra, they'll try to do the modern maths and all that. These are time consuming. I don't want you to kind of do that. First thing, your main kill should be arithmetic. Now, anyway, I'm going to discuss about arithmetic strategy in a different video altogether. But if you're a beginner, my humble request, my sincere advice is start with arithmetic first. Simple si baat hai, it has 7 to 8 chapters, right? And arithmetic is sabka friend hota hai. Why? Because engineer ho, non-engineer ho, sab ko hi aata hai. The reason is, it's more formula based. Yes, you need to understand a bit of concept, jaysi interest kya ho gaya, profit and loss ho kya ho gaya. But I don't think these, this is not a rocket science, anybody can actually do it. So formula aana chahiye, thoda speed maths aana chahiye, thoda basic concept aapka clear hona chahiye. If you know it, you're on. Superb. So the first advice is that try to work out with arithmetic. Aapko yaha pe break nahi lagega. Pada pada question chute jayenge. Saat saat chapters aapke jaldi ho jayenge. Now, how you should study? So the first thing that you should do is, let's say if you're my student, like if you're in the classroom or if you're like, you know, attending live lectures, this is exactly what we do for students and trust me, it works fantastic. First thing that you need to do is, if you are in the class, once the lecture is done, I hope you are making notes in the class. Once it's done, go home, take the books. If you are my student, use my books. If you are somebody else's student, you can use that particular class of books. Now, before you open up the book and before you get on the question, it's very important that you sit down calmly, understand what did you study for the live lectures? What did you study in the classroom? Let's say profit and loss or interest, right? What concepts it has? Uh, what all uh, topics that you covered today in the class, important questions and all that, and what you understood from that topic. That's number one. Then you go ahead with the book. Once you get the book done, right? I mean, once you get the book, go through the solved examples. Now, solved examples are really important. So you remember the way I told you in the earlier video, categorization. So we do the categorization in the classroom and in live lectures. So if you're my student, or if you wanna join in, you can do that. So here we make your life even more easy it's kind of a spoon feeding wherein you don't have to do the categorization by yourself. We do that by ourselves and we do it for you. So the moment the categorization is done, you can look at the solved example. Mostly the books are in the solved example, mein, mota -moti sab cover hoi jati hai. so if I were you, I'll, I'll do the solved example first. I'll spend good time on solved example. I'll try and understand, ki, okay, okay, this is the question. Let's say, uh, you know, cheating trader or let's say it's a, it's a compounding interest or let's say it's a mixture allegation, right? I'll try and understand, you know, what this question says. So I look at a question, I understand the approach, I go through the solution, I make a note, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, so on and so forth. Now, once that is done, again, you need to understand what you studied, what you learned out of this, right? After that, what people do, rather what most of the students will do, the moment they are done with solved example, I, I don't think, you know, a lot of people actually do solved example, they directly jump onto the exercises after the lectures and all, all that stuff. So do not do that. So once you take the exercise, do not try to knock off questions by one, two, three, four. Don't go ahead with the chronological order. That's not going to help you at all. So what you have to do is, let's say type one in the solved example or the categorization which I have done in the classroom. So pick up the category, let's say cheating trader or let's say compounding interest or let's say successive percentage. You got the category, you know the solution, you know the approach, you know the fundamental, you know the strategy, you also know the shortcut covered by us. Then you move ahead with the exercise. Let's say your exercise has 50, 60 or 100 questions. Try to pick up questions which are predominantly based on successive percentage or the category which you studied. Try to knock it off step by step. So do 20 questions, 5 questions, 10 questions on the same category. Now when you do questions on the same category, what happens is 
यू बिल्ड अप दैट कॉन्फिडेंस एक क्वेश्चन गलत हो गया दूसरा गलत हो गया तीसरा चौथा पांचवा क्वेश्चन गलत हो गया हर क्वेश्चन सेम कैटेगरी का गलत नहीं जा सकता बिकॉज जो कैटेगरी है वो सेम रहती है उसका फंडा सेम रहता है कैलकुलेशन सेम होते हैं अरिथमेटिक में तो फॉर्मूला है वो सेम होगा राइट right? तो दो तीन क्वेश्चंस भी अगर आपके गलत होते हैं फिर भी आपको पता चलता है कि यार इसको ऐसे डील करता है सो एज एन वेड यू मूव हेड द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट यू सॉल्व कीप ऑन ग्रोविंग योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर रिटेंशन योर कॉन्फिडेंस योर फंडामेंटल अंडरस्टैंडिंग कंसेप्ट क्लियरिंग बिल्ड अप स्टेप बाय स्टेप रैंडम क्वेश्चन लोगे तो फंस जाओगे बिकॉज पहला क्वेश्चन आया सक्सेस परसेंटेज का दूसरा क्वेश्चन आया आप मान लो परसेंटेज इंक्रीज डिक्रीज का तीसरा क्वेश्चन आया मान लो रेसी प्रोकल तो खिचड़ी बन जाएगा यू डोट वॉन्ट डू दैट यू वॉन्ट गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप and keep making notes side by side so take a category solve question block the category freeze it ki bhai is category pe agar koi bhi question aata hai i am be i am going to be sorted to mujhe koi tension nahi because ye category mera ho chuka that's what you need to do and that's how you need to go step by step three four categories solve all the questions to maan lo 50 mein se ya 100 mein se maan lo aapke jo questions the wo pure ke pure ho gaye let's say uh, you know you solved around about 40 questions which were based on your category ab bache 30 question वो रैंडम है अब दैट्स द मेन पॉइंट अब जो रैंडम क्वेश्चन है उसको स्टेप बाय स्टेप स्टेप बाय स्टेप करना चालू करो एनी क्वेश्चन यू फील दैट इट्स टफ एंड डू नॉट ट्राई टू जंप ऑन द सॉल्यूशन व्हाट पीपल डू इज बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स विल रिगार्ड अ क्वेश्चन दो मिनट तीन मिनट दे गेट कंफ्यूज यू नो दे फील सो इंपेशियंट दे फ्लिप द पेज गो थ्रू द सॉल्यूशन एंड दे लाइक वाओ ये तो हो सकता था दैट्स नॉट द केस इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन स्पेंड 30, 40, even an hour. Right now, your your pura ka pura focus should be learn, learn, learn. Yar books ke question 100% accuracy pe karke, do minute me karke, hami kuch nahi hasil hota. Because jitna jald baazi aap karoge, utna aapke cat me problem hogi. Because ha, agar sach me agar aapko aata hai, to it's good. But don't rush into getting the solution, right? Bahut saare bache wahi karte hai. See, only by looking at a question, you are actually pacifying. और यू आर एक्चुअली यू नो कंसोलिंग योर सेल्फ बट लर्निंग होता है क्या लर्निंग नहीं होता तो एक घंटा दो भाई बिकॉज कैट इज ऑल अबाउट एप्लीकेशन इट इज नॉट ऑल अबाउट फॉर्मुला बेस्ड तो नहीं समझा फिर बोलो कि भाई क्यों नहीं समझा लुक एट सोल्यूशन एंड देन लर्न फ्रॉम दैट सोल्यूशन कि सोल्यूशन में क्या दिया था मैंने क्या सोचा मेरा अप्रोच कहा गलत होगा ट्रस्ट मी अगर आपके दस गलत सोल्यूशन आते हैं यू शुड बी हैप्पी बिकॉज यू हैव टेन मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू लर्न दो क्वेश्चन इफ यू डू योर स्टडी इन दिस वे Trust me, जो cat का जो main होता है, जो crux होता है, look at a question and you should be able to know whether you're gonna attempt it or not. This is how we build it. This is the way we build entire thing in our live classroom. This is the way we build in the classroom also. So online or classroom, this is exactly what I do. इससे भी कुछ ज़्यादा चीज़ें हम करते हैं जो बच्चों का time save करती है. We do that in the classroom and online lecture and ऐसी ही पढ़ाई बहुत ज़्यादा help करती है. Because if you're hitting in the dark, it's not gonna help you. You have to study in a concrete way. तो ये चीज होनी चाहिए अब दूसरी बात करते हैं कि यार कैसे पढ़ाई करते हैं कुछ लोग बोलते हैं कि सुबह दो घंटा क्वान करो फिर एल करो फिर इंग्लिश करो मैं ये चीजें सपोर्ट नहीं करता अगर मैं एक लर्निंग की बात करूं अगर मैं एक लर्निंग के परस्पेक्टिव से बात करूं माई स्ट्रेटेजेस अगर मैं सुबह क्वांट लेता हूं अगर मैं सुबह मान लो टाइम स्पीड डिस्टेंस लेता हूं मैं पूरा दिन टाइम स्पीड डिस्टेंस ही करूंगा और इसका एक बहुत वैलिड रीजन है रीजन इज लिंक सुबह जब मैं टाइम्स पे डिस्कस करता हूँ मान लो अगर मैं दो घंटा बैठा दो घंटे में मैंने कुछ चीजें कर ली मैंने छोड़ दिया या फिर वो मेरा एक घंटे वाला जो रूल था रूल वन आवर काइजन वाला वो करो वर्क फैबुलस बहुत अच्छा फीडबैक आया तो मान लो वो मैंने करा दो घंटा एक घंटा उसके बाद मैंने एलआर लिया उसके बाद मैंने इंग्लिश लिया प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रहा है ना आपका जो ध्यान है वो भटक रहा है यू आर नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट ऑन वन थिंग वट है टेक्स पी एंड एल और टी एस डी इन द मॉर्निंग राइट ही स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन इट नाउ यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट योर सेल्फ टू बी नो हंड्रेड करेक्ट एट अ वन शॉट सो यू लर्न समथिंग You get to know some some stuff, right? जैसे 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 क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करोगे ऐसा होता है कि थर्टी एथ क्वेश्चन पे तुम कर रहे हो और तब तुमको चमकता है कि यार ये तो मैंने सेकेंड क्वेश्चन में करा था अच्छा ये तो मैंने पहले भी करा था सी द थिंग इज दैट द मोर टाइम यू स्पेंड ऑन वन चैप्टर इन अ डे इट हेल्प यू टू डी कोड दैट चैप्टर अब टुकड़ो टुकड़ो में करोगे आज थोड़ा किया कल थोड़ा किया परसों थोड़ा किया हर रोज नई नई चीजें समझ रही है कुछ नहीं वो मतलब वो कॉन्क्रीट नहीं होता होता है इतना भी नहीं कि नहीं होता बट वो इतना सॉलिड नहीं होता जितना मैं एक्सपेक्ट करता हूं मेरे बच्चों से बिकॉज द पॉइंट इज कैट को फोड़ना है खाली प्रिपेयर करना इज डिफरेंट दो अप्रोच है प्रिपेयर करो खुद की तसल्ली के लिए और प्रिपेयर करो फोड़ने के लिए तो जब फोड़ने के लिए प्रिपेयर करोगे तब थोड़ा पेशेंस रखना पड़ेगा परसिस्टेंस दिखाना पड़ेगा और थोड़ा ज्यादा एफर्ट डालना पड़ेगा तो दिन में अगर सुबह क्वॉन्ट्स लेते हो ट्राई दिस आउट ट्रस्ट मी ट्राई दिस आउट सुबह प्रॉफिट एंड लेके प्रॉफिट एं
पूरा प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस पूरा डिकोड हो जाएगा ट्रस्ट मी इतनी अच्छी अंडरस्टैंडिंग बनेगी टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन क्या क्या आता है सब कुछ विल बी जस्ट ऑन योर नोट एंड विल बी शॉर्टेड फॉर द चैप्टर टिल सी टी सो दिस इज समिंग फ्रॉम माई साइड नाउ दिस इज एक्टली वॉट वी डू इन द क्लास रूम एंड ऑनलाइन प्रोग्राम I have my new batch starting up with you online and the Pune and Mumbai classroom also. We're launching a batch in Mumbai also. And trust me, whatever I've just told you right now, this is what exactly this is what 30, 40 percent that we do, which I'm telling you right now. We do a lot of stuff in the classroom and online lectures to build your quant, to build your verbal, moreover to build your accuracy and make you so comfortable with CAT. So guys, that's all from my side. If you have any question, you can get in touch with me. My contact details are given in the description. You can watch those videos also. I'm gonna put in couple of videos link also. So guys, this is the way I wanted to study. Trust me, apply this, you will never regret. Guys, that's it from my side. Thank you so much, and please share this video to a lot of students so that it helps a lot of students out there. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for your time.